Hello, this is Peter Stewart. I've written several books on uh, TV and radio presentation skills and hosted thousands of radio and TV shows and podcasts as well. And I uh, thought I'd uh, put some of uh, that experience, uh, the, the advice, exercises, anecdotes from, from my career uh, training um, uh, presenters for the BBC and so on into this series of short daily podcasts. Thank you very much indeed for listening. Just winding up, just finishing up our chapter on uh, pitch. And uh, I'll be honest with you, we touched on pitch and politicians, didn't we, about a week or 10 days ago. And uh, I subsequently found a bit more information on this. So it's a little bit out of order, but I hope you don't mind me bringing it to you because it is interesting. Uh, Researchers at the University of California in Los Angeles, yeah, the, the, uh, the UCLA, found that political leaders with lower voices were perceived as more dominant and attractive. Those who spoke with higher frequencies were viewed as submissive and benevolent. Participants rated politicians' voices with 67 adjectives. Uh, uh, I mean, there was dishonest, scary, dynamic, attractive, convincing, fair. It's okay. I'm not going to go through all 67. And what made a voice sound charismatic was viewed differently from country to country, which is really interesting, isn't it? Let me take you through a few of those little factoids. French participants preferred a politician with a medium vocal pitch, perceiving him as prudent, calm, trustworthy and fair. Italian participants in the survey preferred a lower pitch, viewed as authoritarian determined and menacing. Oh, Italians like their politicians menacing. I see. But changing one's voice to become more charismatic is not simple because the voice can mean different things to different people from different cultures. Ah, there you go, you see. For example, a man with a low, deep voice may be perceived as dominant by other males but may be as sexy by females. So you can see how that could potentially be a little bit of a problem if you're a politician. You're perceived as dominant by the males but sexy by the politicians. Hmm, could be useful but it's also different things to different people. Okay, a higher vocal pitch can convey submission in the case of a male speaker to male listeners or sexiness if it's a female speaker to male listeners. Oh, Interesting stuff there from the UCLA as we wind up everything to do with pitch on Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Video Voice. Wind up, I hear you say? Yeah, absolutely. Tomorrow we're moving on to another chapter in our podcast, another chapter in the book, because you're hearing almost paragraph by paragraph, section by section, Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Video Voice, the podcast which is taken from the book that I'm writing, kind of chasing my tail as I do this. Tomorrow we start a new chapter on tone and we introduce you to tone all right tone all right over there good man a tone and emotion uh, on the program tomorrow let's have a little scroll down here about what i've prepared over the next week or so auditory disconnections tone in the news um too much too little uh, whether it's appropriate inappropriate uh changing tonal tracks and uh, emotional tone within a story and uh, yeah all sorts of things appropriate emotional tone that's something else coming up as well over the next week 10 days or so let's get a better broadcast podcast and video voice continues from london i'm peter stewart